Strong Rope is a farm brewery operated by its own head brewer, Jason Soller. Jason came from the world of home brewing and situated the establishment in the Gowanus area of Brooklyn. Strong Rope's kitschy name is an homage to Jason's best friend, Eric, who tragically passed on September 11th. Eric's nickname was Rope, and the moniker lives on through the brewery's name. Strong Rope helps support New York farmers and craftsmen who create the ingredients they use in their beer, harboring a model of sustainability. Let's check some of these beers out. Hey everyone, it's Andy and Sandra. Welcome to Brew Review. Today we are at Strong Rope in Brooklyn, and we have a spread of beers to try out today. Um, rather excited about this one because we just kind of stumbled upon it. So I got the standard flight, and the standard flight is uh, just beers one through five. So the first beer is called Young Lion of the West. And Young a, Lion of the West. It's a cream ale at 4.1 percent, which this is guy right number here. one. Yeah. Okay. And number two. Number two is a pub ale at 4.9 percent. Biscuit, cracker, citrus, apricot, yeah. apricot. Bitter beer. Okay. Probably like a standard ESB. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Number three is the Back Road Odyssey. It's a pale ale. Pale ale, uh, that's my thing. It is Seeds of Love and Outrage. It's an IPA. Seeds of Love and Outrage? What it's an a name. IPA. Number five is a brown ale with hazelnut, chocolate, toast, and semi sweet. These sound great. Let's start off with the cream ale. They're usually. This light? Yeah. It's definitely cream ale. Nice. It's biscuity. Yeah, it says it's bright, sweet corn, and herbal. I get that corn. You definitely yeah, get that corn, corn popping out. Mm -hmm. But it's not overbearing. It's nice no? and balanced. No, it's not corny in the way that yeah. like a you know a, like a Bud Light would be. Mm -hmm. It's like that authentic, it, it almost tastes like a corn on the cob, you know? Cream ales have that, have that sort of really corny yes. taste to them. Herbal. Yeah, I'm not getting anything else I get other the than brightness, the corn. and I get the sweet corn in it. That's, that's definitely dead on in, in the beer. That's pretty good. And I like I it. I dig that one. On a scale of one to five hops, I'd give this one a, uh, I'd give this a four, for sure. Yeah, it's good. It's good, it's a good cream ale. And it's 4.1%, so it's, it's pretty easy light. drinking all day long, the pub ale. So this is like a standard British pub ale, an ESB is what I'm assuming. That's what it sounds like. This is the one with the apricot, the citrus, the biscuit. Yeah. I like this one too. Got that definite malty backbone yeah. to it. I feel like it could be a bit maltier. If you're drinking a lot of, um, British beers in general. You especially. Yes. Yeah. They tend to be a bit more malt heavy. This one's lacking a little bit on the malt, but it's still quite it's still good. balanced it's though. Still balanced. Had been more malt, and I think it would be a better. You definitely taste the malt. It's definitely present. Uh, it's just not as in your face as, as the style would indicate. I would say well, that's a three out of five. Yeah. Three and a half out of five, maybe. I would drink it. Definitely. Pale ale. Back. This is my thing, so I'm gonna go first. You don't mind. Okay. That's okay, the next one is my thing. Mm -hmm. It's grassy, really grassy. Are you sure this is the right one? Back Road Odysseys. Try this. It's definitely got that pale bite to it. The crispness is there. Do you taste yeah. that grassiness? Yeah, I feel like it's missing a bit of a... Uh... Oh, here comes a hop. It's in the back. It takes a while for it to develop. It's not like a normal pale ale yeah. where it's right up front. I don't know if I like that. Okay, to me a pale ale should be right up front in your face. Yes. It shouldn't be IPA territory, but it should yeah. be really present. But in, And as you, as you don't drink, as you let it sit, as you let it linger, it gets more, um, what's the word? It almost develops more as you sit yeah. on it. I mean, I, I'm still gonna drink this definitely drinkable but as far the as smell is a little go, is a little off to me the yeah, taste is a little I, off to me I'd skip on that one it was well made you can tell I just don't know how I like how it turned out yeah I'm gonna give that one a three out of five what do you think 
I think it's more like a 2.5 out of 5. Okay. Not really a winner Not in a our winner. book. On to the next So it's a JJ Baller Rax. Baller? Baller Rax? Baller Rax? Okay, that shit's weird. That's a weird yeah. one. Is that somebody here, maybe? Yeah. Smells. Yeah. Okay, 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 yeah. Brown ale. I like this. I like this. Yes. Because I'm getting the hazelnut and the chocolate flavors in it. I have a preference to chocolate and hazelnut flavors. Mm. But as a brown ale itself, I think it needs to be developed a bit more. I think it's just maybe there's just not enough um, of brown. It needs more brown notes. Are you music aficionados out no. there? The hazelnut and the chocolate's so overpowering. It's making my brain think I'm drinking more of a porter than I am of a brown ale. Yeah, it is like a thicker yeah. sort of brown ale to me. Which is not... So overall review is strong, what do you think? Four out of five, solid. Not so much because of the quality of the beer. Um, I'm not saying it's bad, it's fine. But I think I like the environment a bit better. And I like um, just the feel of it. The aesthetics of it a bit more. And so I'm giving it that factoring into my rating. The beer is all decent. It's all definitely drinkable. It's all good. Yeah, I'd give it a four too. Um, I think that uh, they did well with the establishment. Uh, it's off the beaten path, and we kind of stumbled upon it, like we said, but uh, uh, definitely worth the stop. The beer is drinkable. Uh, nothing blew my socks off, but then again, um, it's crafted well, and uh, I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. So, four out of five. Four hops out of five. Mm. Cool. Great. Well, that, that does it for us. Um, Thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe at the bottom. And, uh, you know, stay crafty. See you next Trust time. Me.